Um, Alyssa is going to talk with us a little bit about her artwork. We're going to, she's been gracious enough to answer some of our questions. We're really glad you're here. Thank you. Um, so the first question I have is, how old were you when you started making art? Well, I was always, I was always interested in art ever since a young age. My parents always encouraged me and everything. Um, I started in elementary school, you know, with everyone else, um, going to art classes with, with my class and everything. But I think it only really started in the middle school where I was able to, to fully explore um, my artistic abilities and have teachers who really work with me. So it was, it was definitely middle school where, where that um, started. So you have pretty much been doing art your whole school life. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, what was the hardest medium or the hardest style of art that you've done? I don't know. I think it's all pretty kind of difficult to start out with and learn originally, but I think the the one that I've been the hardest to work with is it's metal and wire. Um, it's it's hard to create something out of that material and have it not look messy and, and unorganized. It's hard to make it look neat and purposeful. That don't look messy to me. That looks perfect. That's awesome. That's so very awesome. <laughs> it's really um, And so uh, was there ever a time when you were working on a piece of art that you felt like um, stopping or you didn't want to finish it? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't always turn out how you want, you know, things break and stuff and they get messed up. Uh, but you know, yeah, I just do my best to keep working at it and trying and pretty much persevering and enduring. <laughs> and I think we talked earlier that this was a piece that something happened to it. Yeah, actually, I was, uh, I wanted to make a small little, little dragon thing here. Um, and I spent a little while sculpting it and after I was done, I was really happy and I was proud of it. Of course. Um, That's awesome. And, but then I had to bake it, you know, to get it to harden so you couldn't mess it up anymore. But as it was baking, it fell apart. Oh. And it, I couldn't put it back together, like I couldn't fix it because the, it was already hardened. I couldn't mold it anymore. So that was kind of, it was pretty disappointing, but. Sure, yeah, I'm sure. Now, are you going to be able to fix it? Yeah, um, actually, I'm, when I uh, glued it back together, um, and it's still a little lopsided, but I'm going to cover up the cracks and paint it, and um, I'm going to finish it. So it's going to take so, some time, but you're going to be able to make it easy. Yeah. You're going to stick with it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, my <laughs> man. Tell us about that. Um, this is actually a project for a contest. Yeah. And did you win the contest? Surely you did. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. You didn't? I no. can't even imagine. Oh. <laughs> but so then did you, like, give up art after that? No, no, I would never. No, not, a, not a, over something such uh, inconsequential, you know. Um, you don't win everything you enter, um, but it's still so much fun to see what you can do under those circumstances. Like, you want to win, so you create your best work, and even though you, did, you didn't win, you still have this awesome piece of work, you know, like, I just love making art. So you're still sticking with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. That, there's a phoenix, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think was the toughest piece you've ever made? Uh, the toughest piece, probably something I'm making right now, actually. Um, it's going to be a, a gigantic flying dragon, but I'm making it out of Sculpey, and it's a new medium I haven't really used before. So it, it's, it, I've gone through like so many problems in creating this, um, but I want to stick with it because it's, ho it's hopefully going to be one of the best pieces I've made. But it's been really hard to work out the kinks. Absolutely. When you're making a piece like that, um, it, it's probably a pretty quick process, right? Not, it doesn't probably take very long. No, no, it can take forever. Uh, this piece right here, uh, this dragon head, took me almost like two years. Wow. Uh, of sculpting one year and painting the other one. <laughs> wow. So tell us, where is your art going to take you? Uh, I'm definitely going to continue this in college, and I'm going to keep studying and hopefully I'll be doing this my whole life. <laughs> and what college are you going to? I'm going to go to Winthrop University. It's actually here in South Carolina, so that'll be nice. And you were telling me that Winthrop's known for its art? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it has a really nice art program. Um, so I'll be able to, to really go even further in all my sculptures, which is really exciting. That, that one here is this one here, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, it is. Hey, is that Smog from Hobbit? Yeah. I knew I recognized that. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, we made this as a model for a large one we were going to build for Halloween, like a gigantic dragon. Cool. So, for Halloween? Yeah. I'd like so, to see that. Oh. oh. <laughs> awesome. You know the funniest thing 
talking about this one right here. Hey! <laughs> tell us about this piece. This is for Halloween? Yeah. Um, Ooh. We wanted to make small for the new movie coming up. <laughs> off, but we didn't know how to make it, so we made this model to kind of work out the kinks. So we have the small one and then the big one, which was the finished product. And it, it, it was really heavy and required a lot of help to, to operate it. I guess so. That's awesome. Very cool. Okay. Thank you. How many people are there? I don't know, about uh, 20 or more. It, 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 was, it took a lot of teamwork to make that, <laughs> to make that happen. Look at Miss Raina doing the work of two. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, in looking back at your um, artistic endeavors, are you glad you stuck with it? Oh, I'm so glad. Art is like my passion. It's what I love doing, and I, I don't know what I would have done if I had given up along the way. I don't know what I'd be doing. Even when it gets hard and tough? Yeah, I mean, uh, just work through it. You know, like usually if something messes up in my art, and I just give it a break and I come back to it, it makes something even better than what I originally planned on. <laughs> and so, um, can you see how God worked with this gift for you? Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's given me this, this awesome talent, and I want to, like, show it. Um, I want to express how much he's, he's done for me. Um, and actually, this is, uh, was is a representation of a, a guardian angel, you know, like, showing how that uh, God and angels, and when they protect us, keep us under his wing, um, and it's just representation of what he does for us. That's beautiful. So awesome. Um, Alyssa, I just wanted to thank you so much for coming in and talking with us. You clearly are very passionate about this. Um, and talking with us about um, endurance, and, and even when things got tough, really sticking with it. Um, thanks so much for sharing these gorgeous pieces that are in all of that. That's, 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 so that's really cool. I mean, that's, so, thank you for showing this to us. I'll tell you what, Alyssa, you are a perfect example of endurance. And I'm in reverse. So you guys give a look.